Hello, my name is uh, John Snyder with Anderson Engineering. We're continuing the uh, field classification of soils or visual manual of it. We're going through how to prepare these field samples. So we passed everything through the number 40 sieve. Basically, that's the size of sieve that a grain, typical salt grain or sugar grain, should be able to pass through. Mm -hmm. So we've done that. We added water to it to get it to be damp to moist. We're just going to add a little bit more to get it to be damp and moist and then just a little bit more but not quite wet. And so Grant's doing his, we've already added water to his. So we mix it together. We're going to grab some here about maybe the size of a, a golf ball. Big, sweet, big uh, Swedish meatball. So and then we're just going to mix it all together. Get it thoroughly mixed in the field. The way you do this is you grab this dirt you might just make it in a pile. Maybe you've got a, uh, a little bucket you could do it in. Just try to do the best you can. Then take your water bottle, add some water to it. And then, or you might just find a piece that's already moist and wet and just try to dry it out till it gets to be damp and moist. But you don't have to do it because we're just making <coughs> cookies out of this. So I got it thoroughly mixed. And then I just flatten it. And make a cookie. So it's, a, it's supposed to be about a little quarter inch, half inch thick. Generally, generally a quarter inch seems to work best. So you're making a little wafer, Nabisco size. So I got a little bit dry, so I'm just gonna get rid of these cracks in the field. It wouldn't matter. You do whatever you have, but so that. When we try to break this in half, we don't have any planes of weakness. We have a good cookie. How's your coming, Grant? Um, I think I will also add a little bit of water. I'm just gonna squeeze it to get it a little bit uh, tighter. So here's my two inch cookie, about uh, half a quarter inch to half inch in size. So I'll set this here and then let it uh, uh, dry overnight ideally, but if not, you could stick it on the hood of your truck or stick it on the top of the oven and then uh, let it dry out and then we'll break it later. So we're looking good, Grant? Yep. Just fixing a couple holes. Okay, so while he's doing that, this is called the breaking or crushing strength test. We call it the cookie test. Uh, as part of that test, you'd break your cookie after it dried out, and depending on how, it, how much uh, effort, a fat clay, you wouldn't be able to break. A lean clay, you'll break, and it'll have a distinct uh, amount of effort to break. And then if it's a silt, it'd be more breaking more like a cookie, like a dry cookie. So as part of that, you'd break a little smaller piece off and try to crush it. Well, to help expedite that, we're gonna go ahead and make a sugar cube. So I take a little sample that's, and I'm just gonna squeeze it to get it thoroughly mixed. And then I'm going to just make a sugar cube. What you could do in the field, just find a piece of dirt that's about the size of a sugar cube or a round uh, uh, ball of dirt that's already been dried in the sun and then try to break in. It'll break a little bit easier because you haven't thoroughly mixed it, but it should be uh, close and you can imagine that how much it'll be a little easier. So made it about a sugar cube size and then we'll let it sit overnight. And we'll demonstrate that tomorrow. Good morning, my name is John Snyder. We're going to continue today with the field classification test. We prepared it yesterday. We're performing it today. It could be prepared after a few hours. Maybe you put it on the hood of the truck or you, you let it dry while you went to the site and then came back. Or you could possibly uh, have found a dirt clot on the, on the ground and that may already be dried where you could do this test. So we're going to do the breaking test or the crushing test. So we prepared a cookie. Again, this could have been a piece of dirt on the ground. And we're going to measure how much strength it requires to break. So I'm just taking this here. And nominal amount of effort, I was able to break in half. About the same, maybe like as a, a Nabisco cookie, kind of a dry cookie. Not very much effort. You could take a small piece here and break it yourself. And it crushes. So it's pretty easy to break. Or you could make a sugar cube like we did. And this may be a little tar harder, just but still very easy to do. 
not much effort. So we know that's a, a silt. Now we go, this was a lean clay. This happened to be a lean clay that's close to liquid limit 40. So it's, it's a little bit more moderate of a lean clay, but so I should be able to take this and put a little bit more effort. So a medium out effort, I would have said that was a, about the hardest cookie I had maybe, but I could still break it, a moderate amount of effort. And then I take a small piece off and I try to break it. I won't be able to break it like this, but I could break it on the end. And a little bit more effort, but I'm able to break it. Maybe 10, 15 pounds of effort, but I'm able to crush the end. So I'll try with the cube. This may be a little bit just because it's too thick but I can't break it on the flat face, but I do it on the end. So I might have to do a little bit of assisting. I'm trying to break it in smaller pieces. So I get a smaller piece and I can crush it. So I know that's a, a lean clay and that's a, just happens to be close to liquid limit of 35 to 40, which a lot of geotechnical engineers use as a as a, a limit for safe uh, lean clays. Now this happens to be a fat clay. It's about a liquid limit 70 to 80. And I try to break it. And that required a lot more effort to break. And then if I do it on the short side, yeah, this just requires a lot more effort to, to break. If I make it just a little bit, this was a little bit thinner sample, but if I do it here, you know, I can't break that. There's just, it's too hard. <sighs> yeah, it's it's too hard to even break. This one I think had a little crack in it and was a little bit thinner. There's no way I'm gonna break this. And then even the end, I can't break the tip off at all either. So it's just a indication of strength. So very low or none is our, our uh, silts we get into lean clay uh, slight amount moderate amount effort i can crush it here uh, again i was only to break it. it it took a lot more effort this sample i could not break and uh, couldn't crush these uh, on the tip so that is the uh, we call the cookie test or the breaking strength test where we tried to break it in half or we tried to crush the particles thank you